Hello you guys, what is up? It is me, Josh Robot Bazooka, aka Josh, and I am going to be telling you about a scientific video of Earth's atmosphere. P.S. This is for science. So, as you all know, an atmosphere is basically um, what supports us and Earth. If we would not have had an atmosphere, we would all fry and Earth would have never been able to support anything so it'd be um kind of like mars and i know people say oh mars used to have water but still um none of the ultraviolet rays are secure so no more life is ever ne or never going to be on there ever again our atmosphere is also made up of solids and liquids and gases but i'm going to be talking about them in the next slide but we have solids um, and liquids, such as dust, sea salt, and water droplets. The sea salt's from the sea. Um, the dust is from all the particles in the earth. And the water droplets is from pre precipitation, otherwise known as rain building up and evaporating. Our atmosphere also have gases, such as nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Nitrogen is for the plants and how they grow. Oxygen is for plants and animals. And carbon dioxide is for plants to make food. Okay, now oxygen is what we breathe in, animals like us. We breathe in oxygen, but plants breathe out oxygen. And we breathe out, animals breathe out carbon dioxide, but plants breathe in carbon dioxide. This, these are all the gases and solids and liquids that we have in our atmosphere. Okay, next we're starting to get to the atmosphere is structure. Okay, so the first two that we have are the trop troposphere and the stratosphere. Now, the troposphere is where we live. It's basically Earth's surface. So, um, and this is where weather occurs a lot. And the stratosphere... If any of y'all heard what the strato jump was, um, is when a man beat the world record of jumping 26 miles in the air above Earth. And stratosphere is the lower part, is um, in the lower part. So um, it remains fairly constant, negative 60 degrees Celsius, and it contains the ozone, which is the shield for the Earth's surface. And lastly, we have the mesosphere and the thermosphere. The mesosphere is the lower part of the stratosphere, and it drops to about one, negative 100 degrees Celsius, and it is the coldest region of the atmosphere. And finally, the thermosphere, which has very thin air and can reach up to 2,000 degrees Celsius, or even more than that, and it has a thin layer because the ultraviolet radiation is turned into heat. Epic fact. Earth's atmosphere is about 300 miles thick. That is epic, right? Want part two? Like this video and I will, and I will see how many likes I get on this. But even if I don't, I probably will just make a part two anyways. Bye, you guys. Hey, th you know you know what? This video is sponsored by the Epic Foundation of Epicness. Here is our sponsor. That's epic.